Good day, everyone. Welcome back to another Enigmatic 2 Expert. How's it going? Things are going well. As you can see, the smeltery is in full force. I went and found some more uh, food-related options for us, which is good. And we got some of that lava stone from a uh, gift thing last time. And I decided to make some baguettes. Baguettes. Because, you know what? This is probably going to be pretty important. Just saying. Um, can I milk a cow? It's fine. It's fine. All right? Anyways, let's get right to it. A couple of quick things right off the get-go. We do have iron and such now, so I would like to explore the opportunity to get ourselves some beautiful, beautiful buckets. Right? Uh, not this clay bucket stuff. No, 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 no. We want the good buckets. Boom. There's three right there, right? Boom. One bucket. Nice. Ugh. It does take six iron though. It's a little expensive. Not going to lie, but it's one of those things. Boom. Nailed it. And voila. Okay. So two iron buckets. That's awesome. I also got myself a chisel. Uh, in case you guys missed that. And I took the lava stone the way it was. And I converted it into something different. And you know what? Why not? Why not use some of this stuff that we're potentially going to use here? Right? So, down here is where I was thinking for the farms. So, I think what we should do is we should kind of sort of build a little bit of a farm something. You know what I mean? Um... And I'm kind of thinking a little bit of a raised situation with maybe some sort of a waterfall, right? Like, I'm thinking if we go like so, you know, and then just have like a little raised section, just as an example, right? Uh, I don't really like this uh, lava rock. Really don't like that. Not a fan. Not a fan in the slightest. But you know what? Let's let's give it a try. Let's see how it goes with everything, I guess, because yeah. Really not a fan though at this point in time. So that might change up. That might get changed. Um just one of those uh, thoughts, right? You know, we already had the stuff. We might as well utilize it all that kind of jazz. Um so let's see. Uh let's get some dirt. I know I have limited amounts on me and let's get out our matic and i want to get at least this started up right we want to get a base farm going of some sort of resource simple as that right doesn't have to be anything special but something right so if we have this nice little thing like this and say this is water or this is a waterfall in here and then we plan to have our crops along the outside okay so this guy will just run it all the way across here. Just break that. And boom, 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 boom. The problem with doing it like this, if our water is down the middle here, is that we can only do three wide, right? Can only do three wide. So let's just do a quick little example of what I'm talking about. Okay? So we got water coming in like so. Beautiful. Excellent. Uh, we'll fill it up. Kind of like a pool. You know, nothing too crazy. Get a little bit of a water flow going on. Okay? Awesome. Now, we should be able to matic this. Hold this ground. And it'll stay hydrated. But, of course, water only goes four blocks. So, we can only go two blocks out. So, that means that we're going to have some sort of a cap on the back side as well. Three blocks in. Okay, not really a major concern, any way, shape, or form, but it is something to take into consideration um, when I'm building, right? And for the amount of crops and everything that we're going to need. So if we do that, and then we can kind of do the same on the other side, right? Nothing too crazy here. We're not reinventing the wheel or anything like that, but we're definitely trying to get a farm sort of kind of situated, right? And get some things planted. Get some food and whatnot figured out, right? Okay, so something along those lines. 
I don't know how to complete it. I don't know if this is going to be the block to do it, but just as a quick example uh, to you all. So the way I see this is we have the opportunity. There's a lot of room here to kind of just keep on exploring this. Uh, let's actually remove this. Maybe we go up a tier, right? Maybe we add in some stairs and go up a tier. You know, kind of like a tiered farming uh, situation, right? So we could go up a tier here, kind of like so, um, and like so. Now, I did something similar to this. Um, I don't know how many of you were with me at the time, but it was in a vanilla playthrough, and we did like a tiered farming setup which was kind of cool it really was and it had like a big windmill and such on the inside it was a really a neat build overall but uh yeah i didn't i didn't follow that one through long enough uh to really get it done the way i wanted to or the way i envisioned it um but i really like the idea of tiered farming i think it looks good i think it's useful all that kind of stuff okay Light gray concrete powder. Grout. I am Groot. I am Groot. So obviously one of the first things we're going to need is the vanilla stuff, right? Like, let's be honest here. We're going to need to get ourselves the vanilla stuff. Now, melons don't really work all that well, but carrots, potatoes, and we can do some beetroot in there. Um, yeah, that'll... At least we'll get those ones down. Get some of that vanilla food going, right? And then we need a block to go underneath. I'm probably just going to need to farm some dirt, to be honest with you all. Um, for, like, the underside and the layers and everything. Uh, I can't afford to let night come, so we're going to hold up out here. <laughs> Simple as that. Uh, I got this shaded garden so that we can diversify our food options. As you can see, there was a few things in there that we didn't have before. Uh, so trying to get all the different types of food and food options available to us in the pack. So that we're, we got a good baseline set up, you know, all that kind of jazz, right? Or at least that's my game plan. Okay, good. We slept. We slept. Excellent. All right, let's do this and this. Good? Good. All right, I will have to find some of the other gardens that are out there in the world. Um, I haven't found them all yet, so that'll be something that we'll have to explore and do. So, yeah, I think for the most part, I'm going to have to do a little bit of, like, terraforming or, you know, just some removal of dirt in general. So as you can see here, um, we can kind of just cut back this grass a little bit, right? And take some of this dirt and use it to our advantage, right? Boom, boom, boom. Just kind of blend it in with what was already in place. What did that drop? What is that dropping? Chamomile. Chamomile. All right. Cool. So that's a great, great start. Okay. So yeah, we're going to have these nice flowing waterfalls and all that type of stuff. We're going to have some decent beds of items um, for our setup here. Then we're going to have another layer down below like this, and that will house our water. Okay. So we can do a little bit of a tiered setup and get this really rocking and rolling. So anyways, uh, let's get planting, right? That's the main goal here. Let's plant some crops. Let's get some things going, right? So we got some water. We got water in place. We have ourselves some farmland. Let's plant some crops. I know, right? Let's plant some crops. It's been a while. It's fine. I can't remember if this lava rock actually gives off light or not. I think it does not it does not okay that's good to know so we will have to plan for uh some lighting as well down here so what i'm thinking is each one of these layers will be one form of food okay or at least that's my initial thought so we got wheat we got potatoes we're gonna have for example carrots say we'll do carrots down here 
right? So we're going to have one of each types of food. Then we're going to have, say, our beetroot, just as an example. So we need a pretty big farm to continue to expand on all of the different types of food. So what I'm thinking is, I think this 5 by 3, 15 is going to be enough. I don't see why we'd really need more food than that um, unless we get into a fully automated scenario. But for early game, like we're doing here, I think that, that should be more than enough to satisfy our needs. So so that's good. Other than that, uh, what can we do with this chamomile? I honestly don't know. Crafting. Simple alchemy. Oh. All right, no clue, it's fine. Okay, so we got a little bit of a farm up and running. That's good, uh, that's a great little start. We've completed some of the harvest levels and whatnot. I think our next one is lead. I haven't gotten down far enough to actually get to a lead level for, for sake of a better term. Um, so we're kind of holding up there. But we do also have this cooking for blockheads, which we could look to do. There's a lot of a lot of good stuff there. The only other thing that we really have unlocked at this point in time is the actual gates right here. And that is forestry, industrial craft, and immersive engineering. And the forestry and industrial craft just opened up. And I mean just. So for this one, you would need a sturdy casing. So let's take a look at the requirement for a sturdy casing just to see if that's something we can do. Well, we'd need a gear. Okay. Well, we can make a gear cast. That's fine. We can do that. And bronze. Bronze we should be able to alloy anyways, even in a smeltery. Indeed, right? Furnace, smart output casting. Yeah, we can alloy it. So we could do the sturdy casings, and then the sturdy casings go into the forestry machines, right? So the centrifuge, the moistener, the still, all this type of stuff, right? So we could look at doing some forestry. What I think forestry will get us to, and I'm just kind of looking here. So this will be the gate. It looks like we could get some engines going, maybe even get some sort of a a bio setup going, if you know what I mean. Some sort of a oil and gas kind of thing. Uh, there is also, we could look into jumping into bees, which is down here. And then also the tree farm, right? Tree farm is a big thing that we could get out of forestry, along with some early power, potentially. Industrial craft, I mean, we've all been there. We've all seen industrial craft however many times. It will get us some good and useful machines. Um, I don't think immersive engineering is really the way I want to go. As much as I love immersive engineering, I've played so much of it lately. Um, you know, it was kind of required in Continuum, and I think I did it a couple other times. So I think I'm going to avoid that one. I'm actually thinking that we should explore the forestry route. I really am. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is we're going to need some more aluminum brass, which I don't believe I have. I do not. So we're going to need a little bit more of the aluminum and the copper to get that done. Oh, well, actually, oh no, that's tin. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to have to go find a little bit more aluminum. I'm going to go work to find some aluminum. Um, we're going to get some more of this stuff down and just going to slowly but surely work my way through a lot of different scenarios and what we can get done in this world. So, uh, without further ado, I'm going to take a quick little browse. Maybe I'll also find lead while we're at it. I don't know. But for right now, we need some aluminum and we need some bronze bronze which means we need to smelt up some tin and some copper right all that good stuff all that good stuff all right so we're back and i'm hoping that this wood gear uh is going to work for us we should have some molten aluminum that's good it looks like it's working which is awesome i like ore excavator a little bit not gonna lie 
it's pretty cool. Uh, it definitely made mining all that out a lot quicker. I can tell you that much. And we're going to smelt up some copper and tin here to make ourselves um, the other item, which is the bronze, so that we can get this sturdy casing going. And what I'm thinking is, you know, it might be nice if we can get some sort of a good forestry power or something. Maybe we can convert some of our farms even, because I'm really not liking, like, the lava stone I really don't like. It's ugly. Um, just flat out saying it. Um, not a big fan of it. So maybe we can convert some of that to some forestry farms or something like that to get at least that base going. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So we needed, I think it was four gears. Wait, what? What? Yeah. Gear cast. Molten bronze. Molten bronze. Gear cast. Oh, right. Because I molded it. You got you to gotta remove it and place it back. I got it. I got it. All right. We are going to need a little bit more than that. It is going to take up a good portion of our resources, but it's going to be worth it. There we go. First bronze gear. That's nice. That's very, very nice. Now, I think... I don't know if there's a better way to do bronze. I don't believe there is in this pack. I think this that's on purpose, is you're supposed to alloy it. Um, so that's kind of cool. And then we're also going to need to get ourselves the ingot cast ready here to do some of that as well. So we're going to need four of these, if I remember correctly, um, which I hope I do. And we're probably going to need more once we start looking into actually getting into some of the forestry stuff. Right? Some of this stuff does take a decent amount. Holy crikey. It's actually not that bad. I stand corrected. <laughs> uh, expert mode. Expert mode. I got to remember that. All right. So there's our four gears. That's awesome. Let's get ourselves the ingots now of the bronze for four of them, which will be nice. And then we can complete our first sturdy casing or our first machine block in general, right? Like this is our first foray into anything with power right is that all right did i do it backwards what 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 it's copper it's copper chat i don't know why i'm calling you chat but it's copper It's copper. Guess who's going to have to go do some more mining? <laughs> like I said, I'm not too worried. We will need the bronze gears down the road. As you can see, even something as simple as the hardened upgrade kit requires them. So I'm far from concerned or worried. Heck, even the biogas engine, which is something we might be getting, right? Um, but still, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> always look at your recipes before you start building them okay fun little tip of the day from yours truly the derpy the one the only the acrylic guy okay all right copper gears let's go now huzzah we got them look at how fast that was look at how fast that was right you guys barely had a second. What? What? Bronze, 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 bronze. Copper. Oh. Oh. I'm a double dirt. There we go. Sturdy casings. We got them. A little bit of a roundabout way, but we did get them. Uh, so this guy here, we can claim an aqueous accumulator. Bronze ingots or sturdy casings? I'm going to say, and I just want to double check, but the aqueous, I don't believe we can make. Well, actually, I guess we can make that. We can make that. We can make gears. Um, buckets, of course, we can make. 
Is this quite clear glass or is it just glass? It's just glass. So we could technically make this. We have the technology. Um, and actually, when we look back at this, that opens actually additions. Oh, the device managers. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, it's not the greatest. So let's do a quick analysis. This is 8 times 4, right? 8 times 4. So that's 32 bronze plus 32 copper. Is that right math? I think that's correct math. Yeah, 32 bronze, 32 copper plus another... Oh, no, it's only 2, right? So it's 16 bronze, 16 copper plus another... Eight bronze. Hmm. Worth? We're probably going to need a lot of them, right? I'm just trying to think. I'm trying to think on the fly. Like, this is going to make every item from forestry, right? It makes the biogens. It makes all of this stuff. Makes machine blocks from extra utilities too. Interesting. The carpenter. Yeah, the fermenter, the squeezer. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to actually go with the sturdy casings here. Because the other ones we can get pretty easily. Um, not, not saying that we can't get those easily as well. But I think it's just going to save us the most time overall. All right. So let's take a look at our quest book. We unlocked forestry. Perfect. Uh, check box task. Checked the box. Uh, loot. Sure, middle. Let's go. Okay, so that's just a quick little check box. Good. A framing table from storage drawers. Nice. Okay, I'm happy with that. We can place that guy down. Um, let's go with, let's see, carpenter and fermenter and clockwork engine. All right. All pretty much good things. So the carpenter is usually the one that I would recommend building first. That requires treated wood. That requires treated wood, everyone. That's bad. We don't have treated wood. We don't have creosote. We don't have this. We don't have a Coke oven yet. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. We actually are restricted, aren't we? Um, we do actually have to make a Coke oven, do we not? I think so. Um, I don't really see any other way around that. Coke oven. Because the carpenter, and I'm just going to double check... The carpenter is requiring treated wood and water buckets. Okay. The fermenter, uh, let's take a look at that, also requires treated wood. And the clockwork engine does not, uh, but it requires redstone. Redstone, we haven't even found, we haven't even seen it yet. We haven't even seen it yet. I don't even know what levels required to mine redstone. Yeah, not even a clue. So we have that issue as well. So, yeah, I guess we have to make a Coke oven, right? Which is part of the immersive, uh, the immersive line, right? No big deal. Um, let me take a look at where we're at for our time. It's been a while. Let's see where we're at. Sandstone, porcelain, clay with bone meal? With bone meal? Really? Apparently. Apparently, it is requesting bone meal. So yeah, we got a lot of work to do, don't we? To get this thing set up. Now that I'm looking through it, we got a decent amount of work to do. I got two bones to my name. Boom, boom. We can't really kill skeletons, so that's a concern. And I think, for the most part, yeah. I think what we're at is we kind of just rushed up a little bit on the gates to take a look. 
And what we're experiencing is we needed to go down some other lines first, which actually kind of bothers me because if you unlock the three and they're not adjacent to one another or required by one another, why are they, right? You know what I mean? They should be gated into one another, but I guess it's just the way that the pack goes. So I'm going to have to go do some mining. I'm going to have to go get some resources, more than what I currently have. Uh, we at least have our farm growing, which is good. It's got the basic stuff, which kind of sucks, but, you know, it is growing something. And uh, maybe we can look at doing some sort of a storage up on our island or something for some of our bigger items uh, in the not-so-distant future. In the meantime, I guess we'll uh, leave these sturdy casings in here because, yeah, like I can make the centrifuge, but that does diddly squat for us. Diddly squat. Yeah, I should have looked a little closer before I jumped in there, I guess, right? Because we would have seen that Biogener takes gold. We would have seen that the Carpenter takes treated wood. Yeah. So, anyways, uh, that's my bad. In the meantime, thank you all so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye for now. See ya.